Hi everyone, it's Ryan here again and uh, for today's lesson we're going to be talking about types of orders. Alright, so in trading we have to know what are the different types of orders. So I'll be touching mainly on the MT4 type of, types of orders. All right? There are some other brokers that have their own in-house platforms you know, that comes with different types of orders. We wouldn't be talking about those. All right? We'll be only talking about the MT4 platform orders. Alright, so let's move on to the lesson. Types of orders. Okay, so what are orders? Orders are an instruction with defined parameters to broker to take a specific action in the market. Their in immediate execution, which is a market order, that's the most basic form. This means a market order means you click on the buy or on the sell and that's it. You're in the trade. All right. Next, we have the pending execution. Right. So pending execution means prices must behave in some specific way before the order becomes an immediate execution. Pending order means that uh, basically we're going to pen the order. We're going to place an order, but the order will not be triggered or entered immediately. Right. You're pending it at a further price. All right. So when the price, you know, when the current price reaches your pending price, then the trade will be triggered. All right. So there are two main types of pending orders on the MT4 platform, the limit order and the stop order. All right. So basically most brokers or dealers offer these three basic orders. Uh, and uh, some, like I mentioned earlier, some brokers have uh, their own unique in-house specialty orders. All right. So those we will not be covering. Okay, so market orders, right? A market order mean is an order to buy or sell at a current market price. Right, so let's say you're looking at your charts right now, and then uh, at the current price you want to buy or you want to sell, you just click the buy or the sell, and that's it, you're in the trade. All right, the advantages are the order is filled immediately. Filled immediately means you will be in the trade immediately, right? That's the beauty about Forex, right? The, the volume is so huge, liquidity, there's so much liquidity that when you click the buy or the sell, immediately your order is triggered, your order is filled. The disadvantages are there is no exact price certainty. Slippage may occur, but this doesn't happen often. All right, This doesn't happen often. Most of the time when you click buy or sell, at that exact price, you will be entered into the trade. Right? But there might be certain situations, especially during news releases, where the price are fluctuating a lot. You know, the price is moving very fast. When you click the buy or sell at that point of time, there might be a slippage. Right? Slippage meaning you want to buy at this price, but then the price has moved too fast up. So instead of buying at this price, you end up buying at this price. Something like that. All right? So there is a there is a small gap, you know, in between the, the your your entered price and your intended price. Okay, so this is uh the basically this is the only disadvantage about uh, market order, right? But ninety percent of the time you will be quite safe using a uh, market order. All right, next we move on to limit orders, right? So limit orders is an order placed to buy below the market or sell above the market at a certain price. Okay, so in the example here, the price of Euro USD is currently currently trading at one point two zero five zero. You want to go short if the price reaches one point two zero seven zero. You there are two options for you. You can either sit and wait for the price to reach one point two zero seven zero and click a sell market order, or number two. You can set a sell limit at 1.2070 and walk away from the screen. All right. So the advantage of using limit orders, advantage is freedom to step away. All right. So you don't have to be looking at the computer screen all the time, you know, waiting for the price to hit your entry and then you click the buy or the sell. All right. So remember, limit orders to buy below or sell above the current market price okay next we move on to stop orders right so stop orders is placed to buy above the market or sell below the market at a certain price okay so in this example here euro us dollar is trading at 1.2150 and you would like to go long at 1.2160 so you can either sit and wait for the price to hit to 1.2160 or 
and, and sorry and click a buy market order or you can set a stop entry order at 1.2160 right so basically you place a buy stop at 1.2160 Advantage, ability to automatically liquidate position if price go against us at the predetermined level, freedom to step away. All right. So this is the current price. If you want to buy above, you have to use a buy stop. You want to sell below, you use a sell stop order. All right. So it's the opposite of limit. All right. So to buy above, you use buy stop. To buy below, you use buy limit. All right. And current price. So if you want to sell below, you use a sell stop. You want to sell above, you use a sell limit. All right now, don't worry if you can't remember which one should you use, right? When we are trading on the MT4 platform, as long as you know your order is to buy or to sell is good enough, right? So let's say you want to do a buy stop, right? Current price, you want to do a buy stop at this price. But instead of placing a buy stop, you set a buy limit order. The MT4 platform will tell you error. Right, it will tell you there's an error and it will not allow you to place the trade. All right, so the platform is a bit dummy proof, right? A bit dummy proof, so don't worry too much about all these uh, technical terms, you know. As you practice, you know, you will get a hang of it. All right, okay, so tips all traders should use stop. Right, so when we talk about stops here, we talk about stop losses, right? So when we are trading, all our trades should have a stop loss. Never ever trade without a stop loss, all right? That can be very dangerous, especially during news release and the price goes against you, all right? You can never leave an open position unattended without a stop, all right? Same thing, never trade without a stop. Okay, so here we have a summary, right? Limit and stop orders, right? So basically, we need to practice the types of orders you intend to use on a demo account, you know, until you're familiar with it. So each time you sit down to work with a demo, practice a few orders, right? Begin with simple market orders. Just click the buy, sell, get a hang of it. Set your stop loss, set your take profit, you know, add stop orders, add limit orders, and then move on to combination orders, all right? So combination orders will be for other brokers with your own in-house platform, right? For MT for platform is only market orders, stop orders, limit orders. All right. So if you look at this diagram over here, right? So this is the current price, current market price. So you want to buy above, buy stop. Sell above, sell limit. Sell stop. Uh, sorry. Sell below, we will sell stop, and buy below, we will buy limit. All right. So that concludes today's lesson on uh, on uh, sorry. What were we doing? types of orders, right? So that concludes today's lesson on types of orders. For the next lesson, we'll be talking about MT4 platform, all right? So we're moving on to the MT4 platform. So I'll see you in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.